If you thought that these DJI goggles too can only work with these home-built FPV drones and the DJI FPV and the DJI Avada, I've got some news for you. You can actually use these goggles to fly your DJI Mavic drones as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Are you ready? Let's get started. A lot of people have been asking me in the comment section, hey, is it possible to fly your DJI Mavics with the FPV goggles that DJI makes? Yes, this is the DJI Goggles 2, the DJI Goggles Terra as well. So keep it locked right here if you have one of these two goggles and you're trying to fly your DJI Mavic drones with it. Now there are some caveats and I'll go through that whole list with you. But first, let me show you how to set this up. This is the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. We'll get this thing flying with the goggles and then we'll talk some more. Are you ready? Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Let's get started. So first things first, power up your DJI drone. Next, you wanna power up your goggles. Now that you've powered on your goggles, you want to pull out the side menu, go into status as you see over here, come to the top and hit switch. So you need to switch it over to the Mavic 3 Pro or the Mavic 3 Classic or the Mavic 3 or the Mini 3 Pro. Here I have the old DJI Air unit, the old Air unit, the Avada. There is a ton of drones that work with this goggles and the goggles Terra. Even the Mini 4 Pro, even the Air 3, even the old DJI FPV. Well, I've got the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. So I will select that and you select whatever drone you have. Press the pair button right here in between the goggles. Hold it down for two seconds. The goggles will start to beep and it will start to look for the Mavic 3 Pro or whatever drone you selected. Then you simply go to the drone of your choice that you selected, make sure that it's on of course, and hold the power button down for five seconds. It will start to beep and then the goggles will pair to the drone. At this point, your goggles should be paired up with your drone. And that means when you look inside your goggles, you should be seeing what the drone's camera is seeing. That's how you know you're paired up. Once you've paired up, this is where it gets tricky. You power your goggles off. Your goggles must be off. Yes, why pair it up? Now you've got the video feed. Now you're telling me turn it off. Yes, I'm telling you turn it off. Well, now it is time to power the controller up. When you power the controller up, now you will get the live feed on your controller. So do not turn your goggles on yet. You must start your drone and take it off. Now that you've got your drone up in the air, you can see on your controller, nice and clear, you've got the live feed view as normal. Now, with the drone hovering where you can see it, turn your goggles on. Now when you turn your goggles on, because it was also synced with the drone, boom, pull it down and you got a nice video of yourself flying. Now what's the caveat? What's the trade-off? You won't have both the goggles and the screen view at the same time. It's either or. If you take your goggles off, automatically the screen will come on. If you turn your goggles on, automatically the screen will display this message that says goggles in use, current mode controller not supported, even though I have full control, it will say that. So don't worry with the message that it says there, you still have full control over your drone with the goggles on and I will show you. See, I've got my goggles on, I've got the drone in the background, I will turn and look at me. Easy with the sticks, turn and look away, and then slowly use the right stick and fly off into the abyss. The only other caveat is that you cannot get rid of that red bar that says aircraft only supports DJI RC Motion 2. You can't get rid of that. 
You just can't. Why? Don't ask me. I'm just showing you how to get it done. Maybe or maybe not DJI really wants you to buy a motion controller. That's the only thing I can think of. But DJI, if you're watching this video, some of us like to fly with goggles and our regular controller. Like we just been flying like that for years with the controller and we don't want the motion controller. We've tried it and we don't like it. We just want the goggles with the RC. Can you give us that officially without the red warnings and messages? And while you're at it, can you give us both a goggles view and a controller view? How about that? Can you do that? So yeah, I'm done ranting. Let me get in my goggles, get some sweet footage, and we'll talk about the bad news, so to speak. Now, this hack has limitations. As you know, DJI makes a ton of controllers. So to keep things simple when it comes to compatibility, let's not focus on the controllers, but more importantly, focus on the drone. Now, when you go into the goggles and you scroll through the menu, it basically gives you a list of all the drones that are compatible with the goggles 2 and the goggles 2 Integra. And that goes as follows. If you have an Avada, yes, you can fly your Avada with this controller and it will work with the goggles. If you have an O3 air unit on a drone like this, then yes, you can fly with this O3 unit and essentially any controller you want and use the goggles. Even if you have the older style air unit, those will work as well with these goggles and the goggles Integra. Even if you have the OG DJ FPV, that big hunking chunk of FPV, that will work with the goggles too as well. If you have a DJI Mini 3 Pro, this goggles hack will work as well with any controller that you have that you can fly the Mini 3 Pro with. Same thing with your Mavic 3, your Mavic 3 Cine, your Mavic 3 Classic. If you have any one of those drones, and of course the Mavic 3 Pro, you saw me flying it earlier. It doesn't matter which controller you have, as long as you're flying any one of those drones, it will work with the goggles too and the Integra. And the last two on my list is the Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro, which I have right here. And as you can see on the screen, those two drones have a big asterisk next to it. And that's because I've got more bad news to deliver. Now, does the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3 work with the Goggles 2 and the Integra? Yes, but there's always a catch with DJI. It only works with the motion controller. If you try this hack with your standard remote controller, it will not work. If you go through the exact steps that I just showed you in the field, it will not work. It will only work this Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3 with the Goggles 2 and the Goggles Integra if you have that motion controller. Sorry, you can't use your standard controller. So I hope that clears things up for you. I hope you have one of these drones, at least like me on the list, which is the Mavic 3 Pro that you can fly with your FPV goggles. And the price has gone down. I think these were like six or 700 bucks when they first came out. You see the prices now <laughs> online. So that's why I'm making this video now that the goggles are more affordable. And a lot of people are thinking about buying them to fly with these Mavics and these cinematic drones. So yeah, that pretty much answers all the questions. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and like this video. Make sure you hit subscribe so you get notified when I release new videos. Head over to dronexfactor.com. I have a LUT pack there for all your drone needs. Make sure you buy it. It's got about 60 LUTs in it. Have fun color grading your footage. It's a great way to support the channel if you're enjoying this type of content. This subscriber says, hi, I just saw the video. I wanted to ask you if it is possible to connect the DJI RC Pro with the DJI Raven Eye via HDMI to transmit video signal to the DJI goggles too. No, that is not possible because the DJI Raven Eye 
is not in the compatible list for the Goggles 2 or the Goggles 2 Integra. I would like to repeat the video from the RC Pro to the Goggles 2. That is not possible. Thank you so much. But I hope this video helps you to understand that you can connect the Goggles 2 to the RC Pro basically wirelessly you don't even need a Raven Eye. I'm undecided whether to buy the Goggles 2 for my Mavic 3 Classic. My compliments for your videos. Greetings from Italy. So if you're contemplating to buy the Goggles 2 now that the price has come down significantly and you have this hack that I just showed you that will work with the Mavic 3 Classic, I would say go right ahead. All right, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. That's $12 a year, and you get full access to me on your phone. DM me on Patreon. A message comes straight to my phone, and I can answer any additional questions that you have. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video, and I will catch you guys, well, whenever I can.